Okay, this particular one, and I would say 80% of the ones that come in the shop that have this freezing problem have a program on it called VLC Media Player. And by just me saying that, you probably know if you have it. The icon looks like this. And it's used to play DVDs, to play movies, and different stuff like that. So if you have installed this on your computer, and you would know if you have, or if a friend or family member installed it on your computer, you're going to want to uninstall it and keep it off of your computer. Um, just because for some reason there's something in it, and it makes these computers freeze up. And you could use a different media player. You could use like Windows Media Player to play your movies. Just a different program, but you can't use this one. So to uninstall it, you go to the bottom left here on the air glass. You want to type in programs. Let's see, P R O. You're going to click on add or remove program. And then you're going to go down here. And you're going to select, you, you scroll down, and you're going to select VLC. And what you're going to do, let's say this is a VLC, because I've already uninstalled it on this computer. That was the problem on this computer. You can go on it, and then you're going to left click it, right? And then you're going to click uninstall. And then you, you'll, it'll ask you if you want to restart the computer, and you say yes. Try that first, because if you got VLC on your computer, that's going to solve 80% of the problems. All right. Next solution is, is you want to make sure your date and your time is correct. You can do it in BIOS or you can just do it right here. And I would suggest you do it on the correct time zone. So if you're in Eastern time zone or Pacific or Central, wherever you're at, you want to make sure you're at the right time zone. So you want to, um, you're going to right click over time and you want to go to adjust date and time. Right, and then you can go um, down here, and you want to make sure that that's the correct time zone. And then you want to click on here and make sure you got the correct time as well. Um, if for some reason you can't do it in the Windows, you want to restart the computer. Tap F2, F is in Frank 2, which is right there, and you want to go into BIOS, and you want to adjust it into BIOS. But that would be the next solution if you keep getting freezing. The next problem could be with your Wi-Fi network. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Device Manager, which is down. You go down here and start typing Device Manager, D's and David, E, V. It'll automatically pop up there, Device Manager. Left click, Device Manager. And what you're going to do here is you're going to go under Networks, Network Adapter. You're going to tap it once, left click it, or twice rather. And then you're going to go under here where it says wireless adapter. It, mine's a particular one is a Qualcomm on this Dell and Spiron, but yours might be different. Wherever it says wireless, you want to click it, and you want to right click it, and you want to uninstall the de device. Don't worry, it's not going to remove it from your computer. When you get here, it says, warning, you're about to uninstall this device. Just make sure you don't click here where it says delete the, de delete the driver. So you're going to click uninstall. So it could be your Wi-Fi card that's freezing it up. All right, we're going to go out of it. And we're going to go down uh, to the time again. We're going to right click under the time. So right click, you're going to go left click task manager, and what you want to do is you want to uninstall, you want to go to startup, up here, under task manager, and you see all these programs here, you want to want to make sure you, you left click it, and you're going to disable all, even your antivirus, all of them. And so it's not going to disable it on your computer. It just disables it at startup, which that will sometimes prevent the Wi-Fi network freezing your computer up. You can go under all of them and disable. Go through all of them, whether if you have five or six of them. All right. You could technically select them all and then click to disable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer. All right. When you restart the computer... 
you got to restart it first. Then you're going to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network. And then when you do that, you just go back here. You type in network. You go to network status. You find your um, network. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Go show available networks. That's right. I have to restart the computer. You have to restart it in order for the networks to show again. Not a problem. Power. Restart. And as this was restarting, another common reason why a computer would freeze, any computer in general, would be that the hard drive is going bad. Well, all these laptops that are going freezing here, made in the last two years, all the hard drives, SSD cards, are not going bad. So, you know, that is a common problem with um, laptops in general or computers in general for the hard drive going bad and it freezing. But I know that's not the problem because I've done a diagnosis on this particular computer. And you could do it on your computer too. It's start up. You go into BIOS by hitting F2 again, and then you go to Diagnosis and Diagnostics, and then from there, it'll let you scan your computer and see if your hard drive is bad. I guarantee if you just purchased this computer within the last two years, your hard drive, your SSD card is not bad. Type in the password real quick. Sorry about that. Okay, so back to where we were. We go to network. We're reinstalling our network, um, Wi Fi network. And then. Go back to show available networks, and then we're connected again. And then you enter your password. All right, and then the final solution, if it isn't any of those and it's not your hard drive, your computer could be overheating. And um, in that case, you know, your fan might not be operating correctly or at all. You see on the bottom of this one. So what you can do is get one of those computer duster duster um, bottles, you know, like the aerosol ones, and you see here in this vent, while the computer is off and unplugged, you're going to get one of those aerosol cans for computers, and you're going to spray in there, because there might be dust that's caught up in there, and then you can get you a chiller, a, a, a cooler, a chiller cooler, and it's basically a tray that fa with fans that go up into the computer. You place the computer on top of it, and it plugs up to one of your USB uh, power outlets. And it's going to keep cold air coming through it. All right. And then you you don't you want to try to keep your um, your laptop on a uh, level surface, a hard surface where it can breathe a little bit. And not on a couch. And so, you know, you can get a chiller that goes up into your computer for like 20 plus bucks. Sometimes less. Um, and they're pretty generic. You can just get them for... One that fits with any, you know, computer your size. This, I think this one's a 13 inch. All right, this is a long video. I hope I helped you. Um, if I led you in the right direction, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, put your comment down. And thanks again for watching.